It's your chance to take part of this global election. At a rally in Kabul, an unusual experiment is underway. Afghans are being given a chance to influence a hotly contested election thousands of miles away. Hussein Hazara is one of them. Hussein, so at the moment, who do you think you would vote for? From the information that I have it, uh, I would vote for uh, Labour. Hussein's partner in this initiative is a British voter who signed up to Give Your Vote, a campaign to give people in Afghanistan and two other countries a say in Thursday's UK election. I'm taking part because I think it's a great way of highlighting the fact that UK policies do have an effect in these three countries, but they don't have a platform um, to say, uh, of saying how, how they can change things. Okay, but do, do people Aisha and Hussein try to explain their very different countries and lives to each other. Hussein talks of the needs of the Afghan people. Aisha explains how each candidate and party view the Afghan situation. Aisha feels she's not giving away her democratic right. I do have a say. I don't think it's substitutive at all. I think it's complementary. Uh, the, the and Hussein isn't taking the role lightly. He didn't vote for the president of Afghanistan, but he will for the next government in Britain. Much more control. It gives me the power and also it gives me much more responsibility. Being an, an Afghan and uh, voting for U UK election, it's, it is, it's not easy, you know. Hussein and his friends stay up late and watch the debates live, analyzing each candidate's words, waiting for the candidates to talk about Afghanistan. Democracy belongs to everybody in the whole world. It's a chance to take part in someone else's election, and with thousands of British troops on Afghan soil, a vote that could have an impact on the future of Afghanistan. We cannot say that the, the uh, president of the U.S. and U.K. and Germany and other countries which are having their troops in the country and which are helping the Afghan people are not having their influences. After an Afghan election marred with allegations of fraud, most Afghans have lost faith in their own democratic process because they feel that their vote doesn't count. But people involved in this initiative hope that maybe this time their vote may actually matter. Atia Bowie, CNN, Kabul.